Hi guys, I'm David with MediaLock.net. Today I'm gonna to show you how to balance your crane too. It's very, very simple. We're gonna be using the Sony A7 III with a 50 millimeter, 1.8 on it. And uh, yeah, so let's get started, guys. So the first thing you wanna do is get your plate on. Now, depending on how heavy your actual body is, um, it depends like where you actually want to put your camera on the plate. A heavier camera, you're going to put the plate more backwards where a lighter camera, you'll put it more forwards. So, and I'm just gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. So because this camera is super lightweight, we're going to put it more towards the back just to show you what happens when you do that. So it locks in here and see how it's, it's so heavy that it's pulling it back like this. And if I go forwards, this is as far forward as I can go because it's locked and it's still gonna fall backwards, right? So what I wanna do for that is that means I've put the light camera way too far back on the plate. So what I wanna do is I wanna move the camera probably a little bit past the halfway point and tighten it back down. And now we go slide all the way back to you hear that locking sound and now I can push it so far forwards where it's actually gonna lean forward. So the first thing that you wanna do when actually balancing this is getting this piece balanced right here, the up and down right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this right here and I'm just probably gonna move it just a tad bit. I'm gonna let go and see how it's not moving backwards or forwards is actually balanced. So then we'll tighten that up. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna balance the back. You see how it's kinda of leaning to the right here, right? So that means that I need to push to, to my right or your guy's left. So what we'll do is we'll loosen this up. Now this can be really, really tight when you first get it messing with this piece right here. So after you've been using it for a month or two, it kind of loosens up a little bit and you're able to move it back and forth a lot easier. When balancing and moving this piece, you may have to really put some elbow grease into it to get it to move. So what we're gonna do is, as you can see, it's, it's Curve this way, so we want to go a little bit this way, just a tad bit. And so that is balanced there. Again, so if it's, if it's leaning like this, right, that's just way too much. So we want to slowly just keep inching this up from the behind. Still a little bit too much, just a tad bit more. There we go, so we'll tighten that down. And we, some of these we may have to come back and tighten again once we get one balance it may off balance another one, but usually not. Next thing you wanna be able to do is you wanna be able to put your camera up like this without it going, going like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this one and we're just gonna come up just a little bit. And what I usually do is I put it like this and I just keep moving it till it doesn't wanna go. See how it keeps wanting to move forwards here? Just keep moving it, still wants to move forward. So we wanna keep coming up, not as much, keep coming. Now a little too much, so just a tad bit. Okay, so now we're gonna have to go back. See how it's, now we're a little bit off on the balance there because this moves so dramatically. So what we'll do is we'll just do a tad bit more this way, tighten it up. And we are gonna have to mess with this one last time. So I made this completely out of balance, like, a, like way off so that you guys could actually see the real process of balancing. Now it's too far back. So what I wanna do is I wanna move a tad bit forwards. And now let's see. So now we've got this pretty well balanced. We can put it here and everything. It's gonna stay balanced as you guys can see, okay? So the last thing is probably the one that most people find the most difficult. I find it to be pretty simplistic. So we're gonna take this, flip it up like this, and you see how this is coming up? The objective is to have it when you hold it like this for it to be like this exactly. But as you can see, it's not. So what we need to do is we need to adjust the bottom here. And so what we'll do is we'll adjust quite a bit and we'll see what happens. So again, still too much. So we need to keep adjusting the bottom, pulling it towards me. All right. And we're almost there, maybe a tad bit more. We might have gone a little bit far. We'll just go, 
go down to one. See if that's too far. And there you go. See how that's balanced now? I can move this. So again, the objective, the bottom piece is definitely the bottom last piece that I always balance is the, definitely the most difficult. So the objective is to keep moving it. Nine times out of 10, you wanna move it towards you, not away from you. Depending if it's a heavier lens, you may go, if it's a heavier body setup, you are gonna go more away from you instead of towards you. But the objective is to be able to do this, to just pick it up and do that. It may move a tad bit, but that's okay. The motors will adjust for that. But now you guys can see it just stays in place as I move it. And there you go. That is how you balance the Crane 2. Super simple. Now we turn it on. And we are good to go. We're ready to go shoot. All right, guys, thanks for stopping in. Of course, if you look over to your guy's right, uh, my right, your guy's left, newest video down below, you can hit the subscribe button. And of course, down in the corner, there is a link to the crane too if you guys would actually like to purchase it. It does give us a little commission and helps this channel keep on making videos. As always guys, I'll catch you next time.